Welcome to Born to Fish. I'm here at Santa Fe by myself. No head cam. I'm sorry. I didn't charge it, so I'm here by myself. Uh, it's very hot today. Not as hot as it was last time, but it's around. It's in the low 80s, and I was hoping. And I was hoping. And I thought I was gonna get skunked today. I was throwing a Texas rig. I was pretty much throwing every plastic I have on Texas rig, and I was throwing a few rattle traps, and then at least I caught one on a rattle trap. So hopefully I can catch more. I'm gonna be showing. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. But there's the old little rattle trap that I talked about in the first bass fishing video, and hopefully I can catch another one. I wish I would have had head cam on, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna let this guy go. I'll show you where I caught him and what I'm doing. But hopefully I can catch one more. Nah, half a pound. Probably the same size as the one from Peck. So hopefully I can catch more, if not at least I have one, and that's good enough. Yeah, I'm just going to let this guy go, he's been out for a while, just see if he'll recover. I kind of didn't hook him in the best spot, he kind of, there he goes. Eh, I guess he wasn't that injured. Take a quick walk. I was throwing my rattle trap actually in the open right here because there was some breaching and then by these little ranting boats i just kept on tossing it and tossing it and then he was probably hiding under these right here because i saw my rattle trap my line right here and then i just he took it some really close because he wasn't even that far so structure is always a key when bass fishing you can catch him in the open water but obviously that hasn't been working so i'm maybe if there's another one i'm still going to catch right here but i might move on to the other side but I'll show you the stuff that I'm using and hopefully I can catch another one for you guys okay so I'm gonna talk about what I've been doing uh, of course rattle traps I talked about that in the first video where to go oh. simple yet easy lure to use I don't remember which brand this is, but this is the cheap kind. You can get these for like $1.50 to put them these types, mostly on sale. I don't think I have another one. These types for sale at Walmart for like $1.50 and they were good. I mean, I just caught a fish off of them. Um, this is my, honestly, I would say my go-to bait in the spring and summer because I've caught the most fish off of this, I think. Not off of this one. I've caught the most off of this one. This is a shad color. I don't remember what brand this is, but I feel like this one was the most expect, um, effective last year. It has a diff. It's it's not completely square. It has like ridges on it. Not ridges. It has more of a um, fish type shape to it instead of just one single flat shape. It uh, does have ridges. It like bridges in where it's maybe just gives it a little bit more feel but i don't know i've caught in i think three or four on this one and then they're just my two my go-to baits i've caught in well it's a different color i actually have it right here i've caught in it's a it's a similar you know i'm not going to move my rod or the camera it's a similar it's the same size just different color i've caught in one off of these when we were pitching it into the grass and it just was i was just pitching it to the side I was actually going to give up until my friend told me, oh, just keep on casting, and then I caught one off of, it was a shot of color. Seems like the shot of color works better here. And that's pretty much what I've been doing, you know, I've just been casting these. I've been mostly fishing in open water. There's rocks, so I was fishing these, you know, these don't get snagged that e as easily as I, as I think, I would think they would because of these three big, three big, two big treble hooks. But it's been working for me. I just caught one off of this one. Usually it's this one. This is my lucky one. Every time we've gone, when I go flow tubing, I've caught fish off of this. So I never had, I have more bites on these than these. I've had in a few bites, but I think he's probably barely even hooking, barely even nipping at it. Cause you would expect with the two trebles to hook. So you probably won't lose a fish. I mean, that last fish he was hooked on pretty good. Like this entire treble was in his mouth. And then two of the trebles were on the side and then one on the lower jaw. So, I mean, he wasn't going to get off. But yeah, these are like the cheap kind, like his its eyes fall off, fell off already. So, you know, they're not too good, but actually they are a good bait. I don't know. I don't 
remember what brand this was, just took myself. But yeah, versatile bait, it's my number one, you know, you just cast it and reel it in. Just you can reel this in fast, slow. I was reeling it in slow, so I'm gonna be doing that, you know. But yeah, versatile bait. Probably my go-to bait that I use. And then I was Texas rigging this. I was doing Texas rig. I think this is a three aught hook. Got my gotsu open. And then this is a fatty craw. You can Texas rig pretty much every anything, any plastic. Pretty much every plastic. Yeah, pretty much every plastic. You can minnows, gold minnows. I have these creature baits. Robo worms. I lost the, I lost one on a robo worm earlier. Senkos. Didn't have any tubes, anything. Pretty much whatever. That's if it's long enough. If the size of the bait is big enough, I mean, obviously, robo worms, they're skinnier, so they might rip easier, but pretty much anything havoc tubes, havoc craws, creature baits, anything pretty much if it's a decent size. If it's as big, if it's bigger than the hook, then you can Texas rig it. And it's probably the best, if not the best, way to catch fish, the most popular, if not the best popular rig. I honestly do not know how to fish this. I'm just trying it out. I. I am. I, I don't know if it's. I'm not. I don't know if I'm being honest, but I felt like it was a bite, but he didn't take it. It was on a senko, but I don't know. You know, he could have. It could have bumped into something. I don't know. It just felt like a little jolt, but he may have hit. It. I may have bumped a rock, but I'm still gonna be trying this out. I might switch this to a different creature bait. But yeah, pretty much every plastic you can Texas rig, and it's a very effective way. I honestly do not know how to fish this well. Apparently, my friend does. No, he's caught. He caught one. Well, I don't know if he's caught more, but he got a nice one off of Pudding Stone Lake. But that's what I've been doing, Texas rigging and rattle traps. I was drop shotting earlier, but after I lost the worm, I was like, you know what? I don't have that many Robo worms. I only have three. And there's not as much grass. But I may just have to drop shot later. I'm just going to be... I'm going to be... Since this, cost, since, this, this, since this caught a fish, I'm definitely not putting this away. I might just have to put in the old craw away. No, I honestly do not know how to fish it. Hopefully I'll learn, hopefully I'll catch a fish. Be a little bit more confident. I'm not as, probably because I'm not as confident as, as with this than I am with the rattle trap. Rattle trap is number one. Second is drop shotting. Third, I would say, third would probably be the Carolina rig with the Robo worm. I mean, my friend catches them all the time. I've gotten a few bites on them now that I've used it, but, Rattle trap, drop shot, robo worms, drop shotting robo worms, and minnows. This little shad, lake fork shad. I've caught in one off of these, drop shotting. Not very big, but stick number one. Number one lure. I still have time, I still have an hour. I have still have like two hours, so let's see who wins in this. Let's see who would win Texas rig or the rattle trap. This is winning. So, just they're both versatile lures and rigs maybe it's just what you present sometimes i mean we catch them probably it's not the best time because maybe it's in the evening after maybe it's like the evening bite with the texas rig because that's when usually my friends catch them you know you never know just testing on new things so rattle trap worked there was a few jumping earlier it seemed like it stopped and move the casting out into structure again and maybe drop shot maybe not we'll see what happens Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I can catch another fish. But that's just what I've been doing here in Santa Fe. Wind's picking up. Don't like the wind when I'm fishing. But versus Tobe, have a ton of them. I have seven or eight of them, and I also have poppers. But I don't think that's the right season for them right now. But versatile baits. We'll see. Probably because it's a shad color. I mean, spawning season. But hopefully, I can catch another one for you guys on whichever lure. I don't care. But we'll see. Apparently, this one works better in the middle of the day. I don't know. Maybe because it was by structure. Maybe I pissed them off. I don't know. But good bait to use. It's my number one to go. Texas rigging. Very popular rig. Very effective rig. Doesn't work for me, obviously. I probably because I don't know how to fish it. But we'll see what happens. I still have a few more hours. And if I do catch a fish, I have another fish for you guys. But if I don't, please like and subscribe. And thanks for tuning in.